Welcome to the Life on Your Terms podcast with me, your host, Tracy Liv Howard. My intention is that each episode helps you remember who you are and serves to inspire and support you to reach your most important goals and live life on your terms. Let's get into today's episode. In this episode, I'm going to attempt to plant a seed of enlightenment in your mind and inspire you to create space in your business and life. We've all been in a situation where we're in a traffic jam. Everything's filled up. You can't go the speed that you want to go. You're crawling behind cars, cramped in a tight container. And unless you've practiced a lot of inner growth, you can find yourself annoyed, frustrated, losing time, uh, unable to do what you want to do. What you want is an open road, a lot of space in front of you, a lot of clearing, uh, space for you to turn when you want to turn and go the speed you want to go and green lights in front of you. I mean, this is the dream when we're driving <laughs> is to just, we are the center of the universe and there is all this space in which we can maneuver. Now, the irony is that so many of us create our lives like a traffic jam. We consciously or unconsciously fill our entire business, our days, our life up. We pack in to-dos, activities, projects, um, actions in this manner of almost obsession and we create a traffic jam inside of our business, our, our lives. And then we can get frustrated when we can't move. I want to invite you into something that might be extremely uncomfortable for you. is to have space and time on your calendar. This space and time is like an open road. It allows you to flow and follow your guidance, your intuition. Follow the present moment as you navigate your way through that space. Allow yourself to really open up. I'm not sure if you've been on the German Autobahn before. I have been on it a lot. I had a uh, a great uh, BMW rental. Uh, I was with my husband, Chris, and I was driving, actually, uh, with my mom in the back seat. <laughs> it's the first time my mom was in Germany. She had no idea about the Autobahn. And I took a look at Chris when uh, the sign on the on the highway, you know, there's a sign basically that X is out a speed limit. And that's where there is no speed limit. Um, many parts of the German Autobahn you can go as fast as you want. And it's so incredible. I hit the effing gas and I was going 100 kilometers, 120, 140, 160. All of a sudden, my mom was looking out the window. We are whizzing past these trucks and she says, Tracy. And I start laughing and I say, mom, there's no speed limit. Guess how fast we're going. And at first she was terrified because she knows I don't I don't drive a lot. <laughs> I lived in London and in cities where I didn't have a car. And then she just started laughing as if, uh, wow, how fun. We're in this race car. Uh, my mom loves race cars. And um, we were going super fast. But you know what's really annoying on the Autobahn? When there's a car in the way. When there's a car going slower in the fast lane than you are. And you've got to slam on the brakes. And you've got to slam. And you've got to slow down. And they're in the way. And this is a huge metaphor for our life, that there are there are certain projects that we're creating in our business, certain um, things that we're cultivating and growing and building. And we cannot have anything in the way of that. We cannot have things on our calendars or in our life that are going to slow us down from doing the work that needs all of that clear open space. 
to go 160 kilometers an hour. And for my Americans, I think that's like 120, 120 miles an hour. This is where quantum leaps happen in um, in our business. This is where instant um, miracles happen, instant, um, what it feels like to be instantaneous hits of awareness, of guidance, of clarity. They happen in this space that we've created for ourselves, And yet we are obsessed. We've been taught to fill our time, to, you know, book lots of calls, um, do the most in the emails, do the most um, going here and there and everywhere. And that's weirdly rewarded. Um, but the rewards that we get there will never be as big as for those beautiful souls who create wide open space in their day. I mean, I don't need to repeat this, how often highly successful people say their morning routine where they've got two or three hours where they just have this wide open, they meditate, they exercise, um, they do their, they say their most important work. Well, what is that? Their most important work is the one thing that's going to move the needle. Like that one big thing that is going to take them to the next paradigm, the next place in their business. And it looks like these highly successful people are smarter. Um, they've got all these special talents. And I have coached hundreds and hundreds of entrepreneurs. Um, and what's most exciting is when I coach what appears to be very highly successful people in terms of how we measure success in terms of money or revenues, um, the employees that they hire, the impact that they're creating, like all those metrics, and how these people fill their time with what almost appears like so much space. They need to be left alone in order to create. They need to be left alone in order for their genius, that inner voice to come out. So if you've got your, if you look around in your schedule and in your life and in your mind, if you are operating like a cramped traffic jam, consider this a sign to stop and let go and <laughs> remove all the things and those tendencies that are having you fill up your time. It's a distraction. It's an illusion. And you can stay there and you will hit only a certain plateau of success. And if you're at the plateau, this is a sign to let it all go the way old way you've been doing things of creating that traffic jam. And I want you to move into that space, that wide open highway, build that into your schedule and see what comes through. Because when you get the hit of that big, incredible um, project or goal or dream that you're working on next you will have access to the Autobahn in the fast lane and you will be able to just go. I hope you got what you needed today. I hope you can apply some of the things that you heard into your life right now, today. Feel free to remove, let go, create space and join me in it. A big thank you for listening to this episode. I truly hope you got what you needed. If you want to get more from me each week, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any episodes or bonus content. To be notified of new episodes, workshop opportunities, and more, subscribe to my email list by heading to the link in this episode description. I'm wishing you joy, happiness, and love.